Hurricane Milton struck the Gulf of Mexico and the southeastern U.S. in early October 2024, earning a reputation as one of the most destructive storms of the Atlantic hurricane season. As a Category 5 hurricane, Milton's impact was felt most heavily along the coasts of Mexico and Florida. The hurricane's rapid intensification, widespread evacuations, and devastating aftermath marked it as a significant natural disaster in recent history. Milton followed a familiar path for tropical cyclones, beginning as a low-pressure disturbance over the Atlantic Ocean, where warm sea temperatures and favorable atmospheric conditions enabled it to grow into a full-blown hurricane. Over the course of several days, Milton strengthened, progressing from a tropical depression into a major hurricane. Its rapid development took meteorologists by surprise as the storm's wind speed surged, reaching over 165 mph at its peak. This hurricane left communities scrambling for preparations as the storm intensified into a deadly force. Hurricane Milton originated as a tropical wave off the west coast of Africa in late September 2024. As it moved across the warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean, it encountered optimal conditions for strengthening. These included low wind shear and warm sea surface temperatures of 86 degrees, 30 degrees, and higher, which are critical factors that allow hurricanes to gather energy from the ocean. As Milton approached the Caribbean, it had already evolved into a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds of around 80 mbibara. Meteorologists were initially unsure of Milton's trajectory, as hurricanes in this region have multiple potential paths. However, as the storm moved into the Gulf of Mexico, its track became clearer. It was heading directly toward the U.S. Gulf Coast. By the time it reached the Gulf, it had rapidly intensified into a Category 4 hurricane. The phenomenon of rapid intensification, which occurs when a storm's wind speeds increase by at least 35 mph within 24 hours, played a major role in Milton's destructive power. This intensification is typically driven by warm ocean waters, and Milton's path through the Gulf provided plenty of heat to fuel the storm. As Hurricane Milton approached, Mexico's government swiftly took action to prepare vulnerable regions, particularly the northern Yucatan Peninsula, for the storm's impact. On October 6, 2024, tropical storm watches were issued for parts of the Yucatan Peninsula, spanning from Celestun to Cancun. These warnings were later upgraded to hurricane watches, and by the next day, the situation had escalated to full hurricane warnings. Authorities acted quickly, ordering voluntary evacuations for coastal towns such as Holbox. Quintana Roo's governor, Mara Lezama, oversaw the evacuation efforts, which moved more than 2,700 residents to safer inland areas. Government agencies, including Mexico's Comisión Federal de Electricidad, mobilized personnel and equipment to the affected regions, particularly Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo. This preparation involved securing essential services and setting up emergency shelters. Panic buying set in across Yucatan as the storm's rapid intensification became apparent. Non-essential government services were suspended and schools closed, while all ports in the region were shut down. The Mexican Navy and other authorities stationed in the region were placed on high alert, ready to respond to the storm's arrival. In Florida, preparations began as early as October 5th, when Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency for the state's western coastline. This was followed by an emergency declaration from President Joe Biden on October 7th. As Milton inched closer, it became clear that the state needed to brace for a potentially catastrophic event. Millions of residents living in vulnerable areas were advised to evacuate, with local authorities suspending tolls on major highways to facilitate mass evacuations. As Florida's Gulf Coast prepared, debris management became a priority to prevent hazards during and after the storm. Dump trucks, sandbagging sites, and the Florida National Guard were mobilized to manage storm preparations. More than 4,000 National Guard troops were deployed to assist with debris removal and other emergency measures. Schools and universities across Florida closed their doors, including prominent institutions like the University of Central Florida and Florida Gulf Coast University. Emergency shelters were set up in schools and other public buildings to accommodate evacuees. By October 7th, hurricane warnings were in place across Florida's western coastline. The Florida Department of Transportation worked closely with the Florida Division of Emergency Management to coordinate resources and evacuations. Meanwhile, citizens hurried to board up homes, secure their belongings, and move inland, leaving coastal towns eerily empty as they awaited the storm's arrival. On October 8, 2024, Hurricane Milton made landfall near Sarasota, Florida as a Category 5 storm. 
The hurricane brought sustained winds exceeding 165 mph, with gusts even stronger. The eye wall of Milton, the most destructive part of the storm, passed directly over the Sarasota area, causing widespread devastation. Buildings were torn apart by the intense winds, trees were uprooted, and streets were flooded by the storm surge. In some areas, the water level rose several feet within minutes, inundating homes and businesses. The force of the storm caused widespread power outages, leaving millions of residents in the dark. One of the greatest dangers posed by Hurricane Milton was the storm surge. The surge, which is the rise of seawater above normal tide levels caused by a hurricane's winds, flooded low-lying areas along Florida's coast. In some places, the surge reached heights of over 10 feet, submerging entire neighborhoods. Many coastal areas experienced catastrophic flooding, and residents who had not evacuated were forced to seek higher ground or be rescued by emergency services. In the immediate aftermath of the storm, Florida's landscape was unrecognizable. Milton's winds and rain left entire communities in ruins, with roads impassable due to debris and flooding. Emergency services worked around the clock to rescue stranded residents and assess the damage. Shelters were overflowing with evacuees, and hospitals were filled with those injured during the storm. Florida's government, in conjunction with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, quickly began coordinating relief efforts. Search and rescue teams were deployed to the hardest-hit areas, and the National Guard worked to clear roads and restore power. Meanwhile, relief supplies, including food, water, and medical supplies, were flown in from surrounding states. International aid also began to arrive as organizations from around the world offered assistance to the storm-ravaged state. Hurricane Milton's impact was so widespread that the recovery process will likely take years. However, the global response to the disaster has been immense. Countries from around the world have pledged aid, sending supplies, personnel, and financial assistance to Florida and Mexico. In the days following the storm, international organizations such as the Red Cross and United Nations coordinated efforts to provide food, clean water, and medical aid to affected areas. The rebuilding process has begun, but for many residents, it will be a long and difficult road to recovery. Homes, businesses, and infrastructure must be rebuilt from the ground up, and the psychological toll of the disaster will linger for years. Nevertheless, the resilience of the people affected by Hurricane Milton is already showing. Communities have come together to help one another, and the global outpouring of support has provided hope in the face of overwhelming loss. Hurricane Milton will go down in history as one of the most powerful and destructive storms to ever hit the Gulf of Mexico and Florida. The storm's rapid intensification, massive storm surge, and widespread destruction have left an indelible mark on the region. However, as is often the case with such disasters, Milton has also highlighted the resilience of the human spirit. As Florida and Mexico begin the long process of recovery, they do so with the knowledge that the global community stands with them, ready to help them rebuild stronger than before.